Impromptunes, 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 improm. Do you hear the people improvising? Improvising! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Impromptunes, the completely improvised musical podcast. Please give it up for your MC. G'day, it's Emmett Nichols here on the Impromptunes podcast, coming to you live. Not really, no one listens to anything live anymore. You can tune into this podcast anytime you choose. It is me, Emmett Nichols, and my cast making up tunes and a whole improvised musical on the spot, including, but not limited to, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. Hey, Emmett. So weird hearing you live. Yes, I know, because actually Morgan is listening to me live. What a treat. Um, and Morgan, how's your live day today? My live day uh, was pretty ordinary. I actually slept for 13 hours Holy last night. Holy mackerel. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Any was... particular reason? Nope, I just didn't realise the sun had come up because I closed my blinds. What a life. And in other news, if anyone has any jobs, um, Morgan needs one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Morgan, I also noticed you got some new shoes at Grey Cons. Yes, uh, these were a gift to me for Christmas. Ooh. Um, nice. <laughs> Neutral grey. Emmett tre- keeps trying to encourage me to get cons in the impromptu colours of black and red <laughs> and, and white. But I've trends. yeah decided to rebel against the cause. Love that. Um, and also you might have heard some chuckles from Zuli Khan. Hello, Zuli. Hello, hello. Zuli's our special guest for today. Are you feeling fine? You feeling happy? Yes, I am. I'm feeling good. I don't have some colourless sort of random <laughs> shoes on, but I'm good. In fact, for the record, Zuli has no shoes on, which would be probably unsafe in a nursing environment because I believe you're a nurse, are you, Zuli? I am indeed, and usually everyone else is naked around me, but today <laughs> my feet are naked. Well, as a treat, Morgan and I wore clothes just to, <laughs> just to break it up. But listen, Usually, usually this actually. podcast is completely naked. <laughs> no one knows the wiser, so we figured why not. <laughs> and someone whose genitalia would be obscured by a piano, <laughs> if that were the case, is Jacob Laney. Hi, Jacob, uh, as our musician. Um, sorry that I mentioned your genitalia before I even introduced you. I got the decorum all wrong. What, what the audience would have imagined first. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got a special guest in, Zuli. We've got Jake on keys. Morgan also. So, Zuli, you're a um, very well-known cabaret personality. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Um, and no you, to who? You saw, well, to me and my dad. <laughs> my dad and I saw you in a show many moons ago. Really? Yeah. And you, um, you kind of like um, do like you kind of shine a light on all of the nuances and intricacies of like a real nurse uh, experience, right? Absolutely. That's kind of your shtick. Yes. And, yes. And how does that work for you? Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of honesty and a lot of manicness and medical mentalness. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of music, a lot of fun, and a lot of, like, a lot of laughter. It's a lot of hard truths with a lot of music and yeah. laughter around it. Yeah. Yeah. You know those horrible hard truths that you slide in under there, underneath one of those lovely songs? And you're obviously <laughs> towing the line just, to, just right. <laughs> just to stick it into them. <laughs> and you, um, speaking of sticking it into them, you did a puppet musical with Amberly Carl from Impromptu. I sure just, did! Just sticking in, obviously being the hand into the puppet. <laughs> is where I was going with that. When you are sticking your hand into a puppet, you do need a lot of hand sanitizer. And Amberly Carl was brilliant yes. at having the hand sanitizer at oh, the ready. Really? She was very conscious of it. I thought you were going to say, her performance was good, but no, <laughs> hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer. No, her hygiene was spot on. That's all I walked <laughs> away from And look, that's that what we enjoy about having Amberly in the troupe. <laughs> um, but anyway, we are going to do an improvised musical for you today. I am rattling the bowl of destiny, um, which is full of your titles from the internet. You've provided them on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or the other one. Um, and we draw them out randomly every week and make up a whole musical. Oh my God. This one is called... Bit of drama, please, Jake. This is called Shortcake and Shoplifting. It almost looks like shoplifting, but I think that's just how it's written down. Shortcake and Shoplifting by Callum Paget from Facebook. Shortcake and Shoplifting. Thank you, Callum, for providing that title on Facebook. Um, shortcake and Shoplifting. So, Impromptions is going to make up with the amazing guest talents of Zuli Khan, Shortcake and Shoplifting, the musical. Morgan, are you ready? I'm ready. Zuli, are you ready? As ready as I'm going to be, baby. Jenita, I mean, Jake, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Impromptions presents Shortcake and Shoplifting. 
It's the bake sale of 1975. It's a bake sale. What a great day to be alive. It's a bake sale of 1975. It's a bake sale. What a great day to be alive. Can't wait to get my Portuguese tarts. They're my favourite kind. Can't wait to have some icing on my cupcakes. Can't wait because I want it to be cream cheese. Can't wait to get a snub block inside me. I'm so excited that you cannot hide it, see. Can't wait to take a piece of my moose cake. That's the only thing that will take my cake. It's a bake sale. Great day to be alive. It's a bake sale. Of 1975. It's a bake sale. Of 1975. It's a bake sale. What a great day to be alive. Can't wait to let them try my lamingtons. It is gonna be fun, 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 fun. <laughs> Can't wait to offer up some shortbread. Then they taste it, they're gonna end up dead in a good way. <laughs> I, I can't wait to have I can't some wait. lollipops on some pop rocks. And I'd like to have some chocolate ice cream. I can't wait to give everyone a little bit of a taste. Of my famous, famous oh, cake Oh, it's a bake sale Of 1975 It's a bake sale What a great day to be alive It's a bake sale Bake sale of 1975 It's a bake sale What a great day to be alive Bake sale Bake sale Bake sale Bake sale You'll never fail Never fail Bake sale Bake sale Bake sale Bake sale Sale. Bake sale, bake sale, never fail, never fail. In the booth, it's a bake sale of 1975. It's a bake sale. What a great day to be alive! It's a bake sale of 1975. It's a bake sale. What a great day to be alive! Ah, uh, Miss Jenny, very good tart this year. Not a problem, elephant. Yes, people have thought it was weird <laughs> that I was named after an African elephant. But my parents were big as safari goers. Just like you, Miss Jenny. I thought it had something to do with your large ears. Oh, well, that too. I came out of the womb flapping, <laughs> they say. <laughs> we cut to the birth suite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. What is that? That cannot be my son! No! That cannot be my son! Doctor, what is it? <laughs> yes, Doctor. Why have you delivered your own baby? Why are you so shocked? I delivered my own head. You were told. The great taboo! And he's come out with gigantic elephant ears! This is all no! your fault! No! Cut to 1975. <laughs> I never met my father. But I heard he was a very good surgeon. <laughs> well, back to the cakes. Yes, yeah, sorry. Back to the cakes. I'll forget about my family trauma. I have got a flan here. Would you like to try some of this f flan? Oh, Miss Jenny. You know, I can't, I can't publicly eat your flan. You know what it does to me. <laughs> it is absolutely outrageous. It's, it's like... No. All right, I'm... just a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Why, your, ah. your ears are flapping insatiently. <laughs> oh, my insatiable ears. <laughs> Once they get a sense of flan, I take flight. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's up into the sky. Oh, good thing I only had a bite. This afternoon, <laughs> at the 1975 annual bake sale, there was a freak incident where one of the judges took off for moments. It has begged the question, what exactly did his father do all those years ago? Jonathan Smythington reports. <laughs> well, uh, Mr... Uh, sorry, Dr. Philanthropy... I, uh... Yes. Tell, yes. Me, tell me exactly, why did you breach the Hippocratic Oath 
all those 25 years ago. Well, back then, uh, I thought I could do anything. I thought I... I thought I was untouchable. I thought, uh... Well, it all started at a bake sale. I thought I was... Impossible to touch. Everything I wanted. I got oh so much. If I saw an object, I'd simply take it. <gasps> and if I wasn't what I want to be, then I'd simply fake it. I was a man amongst men. Yes, I was a man amongst men. And if I had to, I'd do it all again. Cause I was a man among men. At that big sale, that dreary day, 1950, I thought I'd sail my cares away. Sharp lifting. I saw some shortbread sitting on a store. Feeling thrifty. And I stole one piece and then I oh. came back and stole them all. Cause I was a man. A man among men. I was a man. A man amongst men. And if I had to, I'd do it all again. Cause I was a man. A man. A man among men. So I took that shot bread. Took it in my hand, so warm, so fresh, put it down my gob, and then the curse it landed upon my head, and I went down to my wife, who was in labor right then, I delivered my own son, but then saw what I did, he came out with gigantic ears, too big for me. He was no man, he was more elephanty. Oh my. I won't stand for this, I won't stand by it all. So I took my coat and I went out that door. Cause I'm a man, a, a, man, man, a man, a man among men. A manly man, manly man. I am a man, a man, a man, a man among men. A manly man, manly man. And if I had to, I'd do it all again. again. And how about for you, Mrs. Ph Philanthropy? This obviously uh, tore your marriage apart. <laughs> well, you see, I, I had absolutely no idea that that's what he was into. I mean... I so thought... you deny any knowledge of his uh, overt theft? <laughs> <laughs> well, I did wonder how we ended up with so many cakes in the pantry, but I... Well, obviously he was a wealthy doctor. I mean, uh, anyone could understand why you would... Why well, you would assume that he had paid good money for him. In fact, he could have, and that's what staggers our audiences most of all. But you know, the most heartbreaking thing of this all is that I am a baker, and he won't eat my cakes. Why do you think that is, Mrs. Philanthropy? <sighs> what can I say? I'd bake, and I'd bake, and I'd bake, and I'd bake, and all he'd say is that I've just made a baking mistake. And I'd cream, and I'd cream, and I'd cream, and I'd cream, and I'd butter my buns, but he said it wasn't his dream. <sighs> what am I supposed to do? I'm running out of things to do. I want to bake, but he won't eat my cakes. <laughs> I want to bake, 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 but he won't eat my cake, cake, cake. All I want to do is bake. Bake, bake, but he won't eat my cakes, cakes, cakes. I wanna run my bake, 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 but he won't eat my cakes, cakes, cakes. All I wanna do is bake, 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 but he won't eat my cake, cake, cake. He just won't eat my cakes. Oh, what a sad story. I'm so sorry to hear it. Do go on. Well, you should feel sorry for me, and I encourage it. <laughs> <sighs> it was a dream. It was a dream. But all I could do was look at Krispy Kreme and go, Why can't I make donuts the way that my husband likes? And then I'd bake and I'd bake and I'd make the mistakes and then I'd turn around and I'd make them twice and I wouldn't watch the great bake-off and I'd 
couldn't bake it off. <laughs> I want to bake, 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 <laughs> bake, but he wouldn't eat my cake, cake, cake. cake. Oh, I want to bake, 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 but he wouldn't eat my cake, cake, cake. Oh, I want to bake, 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 but he wouldn't eat my cake, cakes, cakes. All I want to do is bake, 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 but he wouldn't eat my cakes, cakes, cakes. Well, I can see why you split, but the real inciting incident was the birth of your son, wasn't it? Oh, young elephant. The <laughs> elephant in the room. <laughs> in the womb. And he came out a screaming pink elephant, and we slapped him and slapped him, and the ears just wouldn't shrink. Wow. So, the viewers want to know, do you love your son? Or is all you want to do... A bun in the oven, but it wasn't what I wanted at all. At <laughs> all. I opened up the bun and the oven was burnt and fell to the floor. I... I'm sorry to hear that, ma'am. The bacon in the oven didn't go quite to plan. Zumbo, Zumbo, can you hear me out there, Zumbo? He is my god, he is my everything And I wish that my husband was Zumbo He doesn't care about pop rocking candy He doesn't care about my lovely fancies I just want him to eat my cakes Yeah, that's right All, All you want to do is bake, bake, bake But he wouldn't eat your cake, cake, cake All I want to do is bake, bake, bake But he wouldn't eat my cake, cake, cake All I want to do is bake, bake, bake But he wouldn't eat my cake Cake, 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 all I wanna do is bake, 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 bake but he wouldn't eat my cake, cake, cake. I'm so sorry to hear that. I think we've got enough for today. Thank you, Mrs. Philanthropy, and good luck. Thank you. Miss Jenny, that was my parents on the television. Was it? I haven't seen them since my birth, and I have an excellent recollection of that day. You have a good memory, do you? Because like I like an elephant. That. I didn't know that's where it was going. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were a bit of a dumbo, actually. <laughs> no, I'm much more of a Nelly, <laughs> silly Nelly. Oh, you silly, silly little elephant! But my parents were on TV, talking about me, but they won't talk to me. That makes me feel things like sadness. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Is there anything I can do? No, Miss Jenny, you do plenty for me already. The baked treats you make me, one that I consume in private. Would you like another snot block? Yes, please. There you Ooh. go. Ooh. Ooh. Elephant <laughs> philanthropy! Elephant philanthropy! It's me, Jonathan Smithington, from, from uh, Channel 4. Oh, I saw you on the news just now. Yes, uh, that's uh, old footage, and I'm not a teleportation wizard or anything. Okay. Sorry, just... Weird that you'd emphasize seemed, that it point. It seemed that you were assuming that I was one. I just was saying that I was currently watching you. Oh, well, this piece of jewelry, no, that's nothing. <laughs> Are you sure? Because it's not you're a magical keep, amulet. Or you keep, like, <laughs> revealing it to me and then hiding it away demurely. Well, it reveals itself. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I wanted to know about how you're feeling now that the truth is out about your grotesque, disgusting birth. Well, I tried to hide my ears, but turns out I shouldn't live my life in fear. What? You're going to be out and proud with your ears from now on? Yes, well, I'll have to be, don't I? Because of your news coverage. I mean, it seems that with your penchant for shortcake... Shortcake, shortbread, short anything, really. <laughs> you can't hide those ears, they... Quiver every time you consume those sweet treats. Mm. My long ears quiver when I have short, sweet treats. I won't live in fear of my elephant ears. No, no, I won't disappear. I'm staying loud and proud. I'm not going anywhere. Gonna live my life without care Not hiding my ears beneath my hair No, no, I'm living loud and proud Whoa, mom and dad take a look at me now I'm staying out loud and proud And 
and yum coming straight for you. Yeah, mom and dad, I'm coming to get some answers from you too. No, I'm not hiding away. My day is today, and my ears will stay. I'm staying loud and proud. I'm staying out that door. Won't hide my ears anymore. No, you cannot ignore. Cause I'm living loud and proud. I'm living loud and proud. I'm living loud and proud. Mom and Dad, heed my words and heed them now. I'm gonna be knocking your door down Demanding answers for why you abandoned me Just because my ears looked a little bit elephanty. I'm getting on with my life I'm coming straight for you There's nothing that you can do Cause I'm gonna be loud I'm gonna get out And there's no doubt That I'm living my life loud and proud I'm gonna go outside No reason to hide I'm gonna wear my ears with pride I'm living loud and proud We've got some live shows coming up. Yes, we do. We're off to Adelaide Fringe Festival, and then we're going to be in Melbourne Comedy Festival. Melbourne, that's where we live, but Adelaide is not where we live, and we've never been there before for a show, which is exciting, Adelaide Fringe Festival. Yeah, they finally released their embargo on us. Uh, We're (laughs) allowed to be in Adelaide now. (laughs) Yes. Hey, uh, did you know that Adelaide is the second biggest fringe in the world? Is it really? Yeah. What What other fun facts about Adelaide do you have? They're pre- presenting impromptu at <laughs> Gluttony Gardens, uh, the Parasol Lounge, from the 14th of Feb till the 1st of March at 8.40pm. We practice this. Well, this is like our fifth record. Of this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you're in Adelaide or you go to Adelaide or you know anyone in Adelaide, please send them along. Yeah, otherwise, if you are in Melbourne or know anyone in Melbourne... Uh, you can catch us in the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. Yes, we are performing once again at Trace Hall, Hall at 7 p.m. <laughs> and the dates for that are Morgan's not as <laughs> off with this one 26th of March till the 19th of April. So, uh, yeah, we love uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival every year, and you get uh, your first chance to see some of our new faces. So. Get along. <laughs> yeah, me and Emmett just got face we transplants. Just got new faces. <laughs> but yeah, new faces, Melbourne. <laughs> okay, here we are at the Philanthropy Household, and for the first ever time, I, Jonathan Smithington, have all three members of the Philanthropy <laughs> Philanthropy family here. We have Doctor Philanthropy. Yes. We have Mrs. Phana- Philanthropy. Eep. Eep. And we have Elephant Philanthropy. Mum. Dad. Dad. Yes, son. It's been a while. 33 years exactly. Because it's my birthday today. Is it? Oh. You don't even remember. Yes, it took us eight years to finally get them all together after the 1975 um, <laughs> bake sale. Just 25 years after <laughs> Elephant Philanthropy's birth. But here we are, 33 years after <laughs> Elephant Philanthropy's birth in 1983. <laughs> And we finally got them together. (laughs) It took such a long time, but this is what every journalist dreams of. We were trying to hide from you, son. How dare you look from us? Yes, how dare you? No, how dare you for leaving me behind? Looking like a half-man, half-elephant. 
You say you're a man amongst men? Well, I'm a man amongst men and animals. Take that. And mum, your sweet treats don't look anywhere near as good as my friend Miss Jenny. <laughs> Who is this Miss Jenny? I demand to know. I brought her along. She's right here. This is really awkward. I, I can just go out if you want me to. No, stay, Miss Jenny. They need to see that a sweet treat earned is better than a sweet treat stolen. I've actually baked you all something here today, and I thought that you might like to try my snot blocks. Yes. They're a special breed of shortcake. A snot block shortcake. And Dr. Philanthropy, although they aren't stolen, they are very, very good. Well, if I want one, I'll just steal it. Ha! How do you feel about that? You can't steal what is offered freely, Father. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! Blast it all! Oh, Elephant, thank you so much for caring about my snook blocks. I want you to put your big elephant ears around me in a warm embrace. Your wish is my command. Dear viewers, I hope you're enjoying what you're seeing. This full acceptance of his unusual trait. Dr. Philanthropy, I think you should give the snot block a try. Fine, I'm mad enough to do so. Give me a snot block. I demand it. Here, take the biggest one I have. Holy cow, it's massive. Exactly my size. I'll take it all in one big bite. Up. Oh. Whoa. How do you feel, Doctor? Whoa. 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 His ears are expanding. <laughs> oh my god. No. My ears. I'm hideous. No. Oh, it's magnificent. Darling. Is that really you? Yes. Underneath his gigantic hideous ears. It's really me. Is this why you've been stealing everything and not eating my cakes that I bake? Yes, I'm an elephant man. <laughs> Just like my son. <gasps> and that's not all, darling. Take off your hat. <gasps> yes, you're an elephant woman too. Gary, I hope you're getting this. Oh yeah, yeah, now I'm zooming in. We're all elephant people. <laughs> that's right, Dad. Sorry, I was sneezing. <laughs> We're all elephants and people and all it takes is some shortcake given instead of stolen. And there you have it, Channel 4. Channel 4 viewers. It turns out that shortcake given, not stolen, is a way to embrace your full self. And another way to embrace someone is with your overly large ears, as all four of them are doing now. Wait! <laughs> Why are you wearing earphones all the time? I, this is part of Come my on, job. Come on, take off your earphones. This is Channel 4 regulations. I couldn't possibly... Ah, oh, yeah, go, go on, Jonathan. <laughs> All right, Gary, if you say so, I will. Elephant ears, oh, just like I suspected. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, have you ever tried your own snot block? Jenny, you never tried your own snot block. You know what, I haven't. No. <sighs> Here I was thinking that I was a snot block connoisseur. All right, I'm going to try some... Oh my god, Jenny. elephant ears! Your ears! You're an elephant woman too! The seasoning is perfect! I am an elephant man! <laughs> and I'm an elephant man as well! And I am definitely a feminist elephant woman! And you are an elephant boy! And you are an elephant man! And you are an elephant woman! And that is an elephant dog! And that is an elephant horse! And that is an elephant baby! And that is an elephant baby! <laughs> Spread your ears! Spread your ears! Spread your ears and spread your cheer! Spread your ears! Spread your ears! Spread your ears and spread your cheer. cheer. That is an elephant couch. And that is an elephant door. And that is an elephant iPhone. 
And we are some elephants more. <laughs> that is an elephant happiness. That is an elephant rackiness. That is an elephant ta ta ta. <laughs> that is an elephant rack ta ta. Spread your ears. Spread your ears. Spread your ears. And spread your cheer. Spread your ears. Spread your ears. Spread your ears. And spread your cheers. This elephant ears. That we've been gifted These elephant ears Haven't been shoplifted These elephant ears Are something that you won't take These elephant ears Are in short short cake cake. Spread your ears Spread your ears Spread your ears And spread your Spread your ears, spread your ears, spread your ears and spread your cheeks. Spread your ears. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was Shortcake and Shoplifting. Thank you so much, Callum Padgett, for your Facebook-based suggestion. <laughs> Zuli is just shaking her head <laughs> and shaking her ears, aren't you, Zuli? <laughs> I can feel them in my ears. Where feel else could that title have gone, really? I know, yeah, it was I just so obvious. <laughs> Did anyone have the uh, like opening scene of Dumbo in their head? In that? <laughs> that was so great. Ah, oh, thanks, Zoli. I hope you had a fun time guesting with Impromptunes the podcast. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> I guess it went exactly how you expected as well. Absolutely had no idea what was going on at any given time. Great. Well, you couldn't tell because you were awesome. And Morgan, did you enjoy yourself? I had a very good time. The theme of the grey shoes pervades. Elephant grey is... It <laughs> was incepted it was. to us <laughs> from Beauty the start. Shade. That's Elephant why we made gray. shortcake and shoplifting <laughs> about <it>. elephants. elephants. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much, Callum. And if you want to have your suggestion made into a musical, just post a Rooney on our socials. You can also give this podcast a review of five stars and even join our patreon like john rogan pty ltd ltd i've got ears on the brain you know why spread your ears spread your cheers spread your ears and spread your cheers spread your ears spread your ears spread your ears and spread 